Hey, it's Kelly from Ready Set Drone. Today I have updated to the latest version of 3DR software uh, that was released on November 11th. Today is November 15th. It's kind of a cold, uh, rainy day in Texas, which is very unusual, here with Jason. We are going to try out the stock antennas on this bad boy, because I've lost signal before. We're kind of out in the country, which I'm happy about, taking a little risk here. We're gonna try out the stock antennas, see how far we can go before we lose signal and the thing comes back and lands itself. And then we're gonna put on some modified antennas and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off right here, firing up the props. Got my live view going. I'm gonna go ahead and roll video. Okay. And I'm going to take it up to about maybe 200 feet, 150 feet. So I don't annoy, any, annoy anybody whose house I fly over. So I'm at 150, no, I'm 140, 150, 155, 162. At 162, flying away, and I'm at 300 feet away. I'm at 349, 350. I'm at 400 feet. Now, if you've watched one of my earlier videos, you notice that I actually lost, this was in my neighborhood, I lost signal at about 250 feet. Um, I think there's a lot of interference in my neighborhood, so hopefully there's less out here. I am at 400 feet away. I've got 11 satellites, 68% battery life. Should be enough to get me back. 420, 425 going slow. 440. Wow, I'm quite a ways off. I don't know, what do you think, Jason? Does it seem like a long way to you? I guess not. Not really. really. I should be able to get to about 1,000, huh? What's your signal strength? Uh, I have got three out of five bars. Five hundred feet away. Battery's at sixty-four percent. Just jump back up to four bars. Five hundred feet away, six hundred feet away. It wasn't that fast, I was actually at six hundred. Seven hundred feet away. Three bars, two bars on the signal, 750. 800. Jump back up to three bars. It's too bad they don't give you a percentage for the antenna strength. Two bars, 900 feet, 950. Batteries at 60%. 1,000 feet, two bars. Wow. Holy crap. Batteries at 59. Jump back to three bars of signal. 1,100 feet. 1,200 feet. 1,300 feet. Two bars. Oh, man. 1,400 feet. One, one bar. bar. Oh, jump back to two bars. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. I've still got crystal clear <laughs> video, which is uh, surprising. I guess maybe that update helped with that. Well, that's what's Fif interesting, right? Is the uh, 1,500 feet. I can't even see the thing anymore. Can I, you? I see it. Yeah, the radio control signal, of course, comes through the antennas, but your video is a, just streaming straight, straight to the iPad, right? I mean, it's a Wi-Fi. I frequency. think maybe it comes through the antennas, and then maybe your Wi-Fi is connected between here and here. I don't know. I, I thought it was the other way around. I'm at. 1,700 feet at 164 altitude, 54 in batteries. Oh, man. And I'm out in the country, too, so people have shotguns and stuff out here. So <laughs> And it does fail safe on antenna, right? You've confirmed that that works. Uh, so fail safe on antenna? Yeah, like it turns around, comes back. When yeah, you, yeah, when yeah. I've, I've had that happen to me before. Does it just come back within range, or does it come all the way home? Uh, it comes back all the way home unless you hit fly. Once you're back in range, you can see it, and you hit fly. Gotcha. All right, I'm at 2,000 feet. That's one bar. Good. Not quite half a mile, but I can still see it. I'm in a big field. Yeah, just stay over trees. Don't go over anybody's house, just in case. Oh, now you got red on the antenna, huh? Oh, yep, red on the antenna. 
Does that mean signal loss? Uh, let's see. All right, signal loss. Signal loss, do you see that? Yep. Now it should start coming back. Return, Return home. home. There we go. Return home. Yep, there we go. So that was at about 2,100 feet. I am lost. I want to come <laughs> home. All right, now it says signal recovered. There we go. You can see that. So if I hit fly, I can uh, actually take yeah, back over well and fly. Let it drive home. I'm just going to let it drive itself home, yeah, because uh, I can't see it right now. All right, now. so that was oh, 2,100 feet? 2,100 feet, I think. I'm uh, going to double check that when we yeah. look back at the tape. So not even, uh, what's a mile, 5280? Yep, a little less than half a mile. There, so a little less than half a mile. Not great on stock antennas. Nope, nope. And I've got the antennas in this position. All you haters out there can tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Worst position ever. <laughs> yeah, thanks, comic book guy. <laughs> All right, here it comes. Well, we know the return home works. We're going to bring it back in. I'm going to let it try to land itself. And uh, what's cool about return home, if you do want to take over, you just hit that fly button and you can take over manual control. But I want to see how close it comes like to still have your, uh, where it started. Your protective sticker on yeah, it. you like that? That's nice. It's uh, the difference between us. Like I kind of overshooting a little bit. Yeah, I'd say it's off by a good 25 feet of where it started. What do you think? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Does it land, land it down? Yeah, yeah, it lands itself. As long as it doesn't land on our heads or on a tree. Here it comes. There's. Well, nice. actually, I was, I was, uh, I was mistaken. It's closer. Yeah. It's closer to where we started than I thought. Nice, easy descent too. Yeah, coming down nice and easy. Slows itself when it gets to about 20 feet. Yeah, right on. That is pretty spot on. Coming down. Yeah. Within, within five feet of where we started. All right. <laughs> that was fly, folks, <laughs> y'all. Okay, well, so that was the stock antennas. Now we're gonna switch out to the mod antennas uh, and see how they do. So we have swapped out the antenna for this uh, FPV LR, which I assume stands for long range antenna. Uh, 130 bucks, ordered it online. First time trying to use it. We did have some issues getting a live view of the camera. Um, I'm still getting this little uh, error that says manual camera control error, contact 3DR support. Hmm. So I'll do that later and find out what's up. But we are getting a live view, which is very good and very important. We're going to give it a shot. I've got 86% uh, battery right now, even though I had all the lights <laughs> on, the, uh, on the thing. They yeah. just rounded up, huh? Yeah, it's funny because I actually I've charged these batteries. Um, I charge these batteries gosh, uh, uh, two weeks ago and had them at 100% and they've just been sitting for two weeks yeah, and that's how much we've lost. And so, drift a little. I'm hmm. uh, going to go ahead and fire up, oh, fire up the uh, GoPro on, the, on there and take off. Okay, we're at zero feet and one foot away from me. So for this one, I'm going to take it up to I'm gonna take it up to 100 feet in altitude, maybe 125. 125, there we go. Just within shotgun range. Yeah, and I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll take it up to 150. <laughs> Actually, you know what, I'll just, what were we at last time? Do you remember 130? One, one, somewhere around there, yeah. So, I'm at 135, it's about where we were before. Nice, you can still see it. And. You know, I will say, Flying Phantoms, it's really nice that these are black. Yeah, yeah, nice them. contrast against the you sky. Know, it's like, it seems like you should paint your Phantom if you get it. I'm surprised they don't offer it in different colors. It is nice that you can see it. So I'm flying pretty fast. I'm already, um, I'm already 600 feet away. So you still got, got five bars, Four right? bars. Four bars? Four bars, yeah. 600 feet, um, 700 feet, 80% battery, 800 feet. Still over country, fields, 900 feet. What did we get to last time? 2100? 2100, yeah. Four bars, three bars at. Interesting. At 1100 feet. Jump back up to four bars. The max is five, right? Uh, the max is five, yeah. yeah. Um, 1300 feet. I'm going a lot faster. That shouldn't make a difference, though. 
1,500 feet. I'd expect it to fluctuate a little bit. Three bars. 77% battery. Oh, wow. Two bars. Yeah, just dropped down to two bars at uh, 1,600 feet. Wow. Yeah, wondering if uh, maybe I did something wrong on the install. I don't think so. One bar. One bar at 1,700 feet. It's pretty straightforward. You don't have to do anything crazy, I don't think. Yeah, two bars at 1,700 feet. One bar at 1,700 feet. Try angling your remote a little bit, see if the direction you're... Um, like this? No, oh, actually... Wait, up. wait, look at that. Look at that, that gave me... Up and down, I'm curious to see if it... Uh, you're talking about like this? Cause yeah, because yeah, I mean, it's definitely directional, right? I mean, those are supposed to be just kind of pointing where at your craft, but uh, oh, that actually does move me yeah, around. Yeah, you know what? That's back to three bars. Kind of goes up and down quite a bit. Two bars, so three bars, four bars. Wow, that's very picky about uh, being directional, huh? Yeah, I'm at four bars now at 1,700. Oh, I'm sorry, at uh, seven. Oh, I just was, I just climbed up to 215 yeah. feet. I hit the wrong stick. Yeah. So going back down to, all right. Let's see, I'm going to see if I can dial it in. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah, it's very picky about angle. So 69% battery. I'm going to take it back down to 125. So we're comparing apples to apples as far as altitude. Uh, one. You got what, three or four? Three, three bars at one fi uh, 150 feet, 1,700 feet away. Keep going, see what it does. 1,800 feet away. Uh, I would assume that this probably wo voids my warranty with, uh, with 3DR. <laughs> Real man void warranties. Okay. I uh, just tilted down a little bit because we're further away, and I've got back. I jumped up to three for a second and at two. All right, and I'm back at three bars. 1900, about to cross 2000, just crossed 2000. Can you see it? Uh, lost sight of it. Oh, no, I still see it. It's out there. 2100. So this is where it failed before. I have three bars. So I guess the, the thing, oh, now I have four bars. Wow. 20. 2300. Gotta at least get to half a mile. 2400. 2500. Flying pretty fast. So, yeah, you're about half a mile right now. 2600. And you still got what, three? Three bars. Four That's bars. Just jumped up. Back down to three. <laughs> the further away it gets, the stronger the signal is. Yeah, quite bizarre. About to cross 3000. Well, it's definitely an improvement. I mean, for a hundred something bucks. 3,000. You've already made an improvement. Yeah, the directionality of it is interesting. Yeah. Um, it's pretty picky, huh? It's, it, look at that. When I just tilt this a little bit, we yeah. jump between two and three bars. Two bars, and we're at 3,300. You know, a lot of people who get directional antennas, they get external tripods or something to mount them on, right? So that you uh, can kind of angle them depending on the height of your craft. I can totally see why people would do that. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. If it's Although so the craft is moving, right? So you almost have to kind of like yeah, play with it a little bit. Yeah, you have bit. to adjust on the fly, right? Literally. <laughs> well, well done. I like what, what you did, did there. there. 3,800. See if we can double what we had. All right, one bar. Oh. One bar. We are at 56% battery. We are about to cross over 4,000. 4,000. So if we get to 42, we've doubled our distance. Ooh, oh, got there red. we go. Well, Just no. jumped it from red to one You're bar. Red again. Life. We're at 42, 42, 60. It's red. What if you adjust the? Can you get it back? No. It's interesting. It hasn't uh, hasn't puked on me yet, though. But I am. Oh, I'm still controlling it. That's weird. It's red. This must be like right before it's out of range. There it goes. It just beeped at me. Return home. Yeah. Okay. So what? About 40. 4,300. 4,300. Like so about double. double. Yeah. And. Uh, it's not too shabby. It's returning home. What's interesting though is it doesn't say uh, 
It doesn't say return home. Didn't last time it say return to home did, on the screen yeah, the whole time? It did, yeah, across the screen. Yeah, so I don't know what but that it's means. it's coming back. But it is coming back. You can see the 3600. It's flying at 167 feet. So I think at this point I could actually, well, I'll wait till it gets close. But so you were 1,000 feet shy of a mile. It's not bad. Yeah, and again, you know, you can see just me moving. I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but yeah, uh, you can see if I tilt this different directions, yeah. it changes those bars. Definitely makes a difference. You really got to aim it in the direction of your craft. All right, so I guess the uh, the takeaway here is that the uh, roughly doubled it for 130 bucks. Yep, FPV LR uh, seems to work fairly well. You just have to be cognizant of the direction. We're going to play around with this some more, but. This is our first test with it, and uh, appreciate you watching. Hope you'll tune in for more of this great Ready, Set, Drone content that Jason and I love to produce. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do, and leave your comments. Look forward to talking to you later.